I want to talk right now about some different types of selectors that exist out there, um, some pseudo selectors. Let's say we have an anchor link here and we have another anchor link here and we're going to say color is going to be red. Okay. And when I refresh that, um, you can see that color is red. These colors are not. And one of the reasons why is we talked about, you know, who gets precedent and this is more specific up here. So it turns itself um, the blue that, or the white with the blue background. And this down here, um, because it's the last one seen versus this one up above, <clears throat> it gets turned red. There might be a rare occasion where we want this to take precedence, even though we have this here. And to do that, we use an exclamation important. And what that does is that overrides everything else. And you can see how now these links up here are blue, okay? And this down here is also blue. Uh, if we made this, um, I don't know, let's do another color. Let's do purple here, okay? Um, so you can visualize, you can see the purple now here. So this is taking the upmost precedence over anything else. Um, basically, it's overriding everything else. Now, you got to be really careful with these, um, these exclamation importance because they do kind of take the cake and, and it's better not to use them and order your things in the order you want them to be seen and to be very specific on selectors with IDs or classes or descendant selectors to do that. But I wanted to show how that would work um, in conjunction. And even though this is, you know, seen... Um, before this, and this should be the one that's getting it, because you're using this exclamation important, it's overriding this, and it's overriding this up here, okay? So let's get rid of that. Let's teach you another selector here that's that's kind of cool. Um, we'll go back to white, so that looks all fine there. Oh, that bottom one is still wrong. Um, I need to make it that blue. Let's teach you how to set up a hover on one of these items here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say all nav anchor links, okay? Now that works the same as this one up above, okay? Um, but I'm just saying anything that's an anchor link inside of a nav and we're skipping these two generations. So this is still a descendant selector. It's more of a great grandfather to this great grandchild, okay? And we're gonna say anytime that we're gonna do now a colon hover, anytime we hover on top of an anchor link, we wanna change the background color. Um, let's say that should be white, and we wanna change the color to be blue. So let's take a look at that now, and you can see that happening, okay? Also, let's make this bar go all the way across the screen to kind of fill in those little gaps. So I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna put that there, and we can see that filling it in now. And show you some other selectors. So hover is one that will allow our mouse to hover over different items. There's also one called focus. And focus, the way that this works, is if I hit tab on my keyboard, it tries to look at all the links and, and kind of shows an indicator of where I am on, on the page. And then I can hit enter, space bar, different things to kind of work with the page. Mostly this is for accessibility issues, but again, Kind of going back to some of those guidelines, this is making our page a little bit more robust. Okay, um, there's also one called active, and active is going to allow us to um, not hover and not tab, but when I click and hold, you can see where that's being applied. So active is when I'm holding my mouse button down, like I am right now, that turns that turns white. So I can click and that goes there. There's also one called link. And this just basically says all links are going to get the style. Now, if you don't put it in, they still get that style. So it's kind of like a default pseudo selector that exists there. Another one I'm not really fond of is visited. And visited basically means if you've ever been to the page before, then apply that style to it. And again, I don't really like it because it changes um, you know, you might have a menu of some links, different colors than others, and I just feel that's inconsistent and kind of breaks the, you know, the repetition of the design principles we learned about in a previous video. 
So let's change that back to hover. I think that works really nice and it allows us to kind of hover over those and makes our page, you know, give some, um, some feedback, I guess, when we're hovering over different items. And that, that helps out with the user experience.